What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today we're gonna take a look at another new application. It is called Rise Media Player, and it is pretty much developed by two individuals with some contributors, and I actually have the website up right here. So these are the developers here, Joseph Beatty and uh, Omar Salas, or Salas, with these two other contributors here helping them out on GitHub uh, to make sure things go smoothly. Now there are some quirks to it, in terms of uh, the workings of it. Um, and if you need instructions on how to actually install it, as I put the link in the description box, um, you'll see that you need to scroll down and see this section to get it to work. And then it should install fine. Right now it's in a pre-release phase. So uh, bear with me, things that don't work. And I'll tell you, these are major, major things that don't work. Um, they will be fixed because again, it's a pre-release. So we just have to bear with the developers. So let's take a look at Rise Media Play. All right, so here we are looking at Rise Media Player. As I said before, it is a Windows 11 media player uh, built by those two developers right there and some contributors over at GitHub. It's not on the Microsoft Store at all. It's still in an early, early pre-alpha, so a lot of things are broken. Um, so I can't do a review on it just because it's a pre-release. It's a pre-alpha. It's not even an alpha. It's not even a beta. So this is just what we got so far with it. And so far, I can say it looks pretty good. Um, they do have some good customization built into it um, when I was just taking a quick look through it. Um, and also, you got your usual bar here where you got all of your little functions that you can do. You got at a glance, which shows you pr pretty much just everything at a glance uh, that you can do with it. Uh, you got your queue, uh, which you can see it, it made it full screen for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why it made it full screen. Um, and then if I exit out of that, you go to your playlists and you can see I don't have any playlists created just yet, but I can plus add a new playlist, um, type in some words, a uh, description if I wanted to, uh, hit create. And then let's see if the playlist actually shows up I'm not seeing any playlist here, so maybe the playlist function doesn't work, but you can type in things and it doesn't actually do anything. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. So what you have to do is you have to create a playlist and then hit add media. And then from there, it should let you in. And it looks like adding media doesn't even work just yet either. So again, it's a pre-alpha, uh, so we can't really judge it too much, but the function is there. The thought processes is what we can judge of what's to go forward or what's to come. Uh, next section you have, you have your music section. So if we hit songs, these are all of my songs. Now there's a major, major um, like problem with this whole thing. And you can probably tell by the, the times of all the tracks being zero for some reason. Uh, there's a major, major issue and it actually stems from the album section. So you see, I have various albums. I have podcasts, even the Vergecast, MacBreak Weekly. Then I have some music that I have here. Music, Soul Child, Nas, T-Pain and stuff, Gym Class Heroes. And what I noticed at first glance, and I thought it was just a simple thing, um, was if I'm to type in, I don't know, Nas Life It's Good, and I'm to click on it, right? These are the, tra I know the album really well because I've listened to it a thousand times, and these are in fact the tracks for that album right there. They're out of order, but these are the tracks for it. In fact, let me see if I can hit by track number order. So it looks like that functionality also doesn't work either. Yeah, it doesn't work either, no matter what you press. But not only does that not work, um, the functionality of seeing what tracks are under your album also doesn't work. So if I hit this and I'm like, okay, I want to do Life is Good. This is Life is Good, like I said. And I can thumb it up, thumb it down, I can hit play, but just take note. This is the tracks for Life is Good, okay? Now if I go back to albums and I go to say the Verge cast, now you probably noticed that the Verge cast still shows Nas's Life is Good album tracks in the same order that it was before. Same, if I click on Mac Break Weekly, it'll show the same thing. Same PC perspective, Daily Tech News show. Um, if I was to go to, I don't know, if I was to go to Music, Soul Child, Soul Star, it would still show the track listing for uh, the Nas Life is Good. And now this, what I noticed, this happens um, as soon as you click on in any kind of album once, uh, whether it's a podcast or not, it doesn't really matter, any kind of media, audio media, uh, it changes uh, the tracks on all the other things and it doesn't even allow you to hit play anymore after a while. So let's see, will it let me hit play? It looks like it's even bugging out right now. My computer's fan is kicking up a lot and 
it's I already know for a fact me after testing it it's not gonna work but again I can't ping it too hard just because it is a pre pre release pre alpha they're trying to get things ironed out but these are just some of the bugs as me covering it um, to just point out physically since I don't know a lick of programming um, so the only way to really fix that is to pretty much exit out uh, retype in rise open up rise and then for some reason opens up in full screen and then you go back into an album and then you pick an album uh from your list and play that instead so let's say i pick i don't know let's let's say i pick uh t-pain epiphany and i'm like all right i want to play bartender featuring akon i can hit that and you can hear that it's playing just like that and if i hit play again there you go. See, it's playing just like that. So you see the tracks are working. Things are working pretty smooth, right? Uh, but the moment you switch away from this area and try to click in a new album is when things fall apart. Because right now, see, it still plays. Now, if I go to Around My Way by Lupe Fiasco, now you're getting uh, the same Epiphany track listing with Tallahassee Love starting. Um, and let's see if this plays. It still plays. But the moment I start clicking on it on a different album because it's bugged out, uh, you'll notice that it freezes. You see, I can't, my hovering doesn't do anything. The computer is actually acting up. It's starting to speed up the fans. Um, so that's just a major, major functionality just, that just doesn't work. I, I understand that it is, you know, pre-alpha and I said a thousand times. I understand that, but you know, this type of thing is what I would actually really want to work. The basic part of switching albums. Um, so I hope, I hope that's a bug that's already been like in the mind of the developers just to get it out of the way. Uh, before anything else gets added or tweaked into the whole thing, just fixing this album switching and this song switching to different albums and just being able to see your track listings on different albums because that's a major feature that doesn't work at all. Um, but other than that, you do have your, um, with this one here, you do have your add to and you can add to playlists and things like that. But of course, this is grayed out because uh, there is no playlist that I can make right now because playlist doesn't work either. Um, but there's some other cool functionality too. You can also just hit like uh, minimize or mini player and it can do a mini player. In fact, you know what? I'm going to exit out. I'm going to go back in Rise so I can actually play a song. Of course, it's going to open up in full screen for some reason. And then I'm going to go in and say, you know what? I am going to pick an album. I'm going to pick Mario, an old artist. And I'm going to pick uh, what your name is. All right, now I'm gonna to go to the mini player so I can show you how uh, album art looks on here. So there's another little bug that I found in Rise Media Player, and it is, has to do with this mini player here. Right now it looks pretty good. It's nice and fluent, nice and blurred. Uh, you can click this to see your cue and everything like that. Uh, but resizing it starts to look weird. You see it still looks fine right now. And if I keep resizing it, it's shrinking. It's But you can start seeing that this area here to open up the mini player, make it full screen again, it's starting to cut off. This area here to share is starting to cut off. Um, and if I shrink it more, you see things are just getting cut off more and more. And if I keep shrinking, you see this more things are cut off. I think that's the uh, shuffle icon that's getting shut off, uh, cut off. And then if I open it up, you can see it's starting to open up more and more. And then I can open it up there and down to so make it a square. And now it's back to normal and it works like normal. But things get cut off in general. Uh, in the mini player so that's another thing to just fix the sizing of it um, now let's take a look at full screen so full screen for some reason doesn't seem like what I would expect it to be full screen ends up being um, just bringing the application full screen I thought it would actually do the making the whole now playing kind of like the zoom media player uh, full screen style where it had like a little mini slideshow going on with the music or animation going on I was hoping it'd be like that but it looks like it's not like that but going through, you got your genres, you got your all video if you have video like I don't, and then you got uh, at a glance once again. And then one last thing before I close out the video too is, well, let's go to settings here. Um, so this is the settings here. Again, a lot of things are grayed out um, just because a lot of things just aren't working yet because they're working on other things with it. Um, you got your library section. You can add some online services such as a streaming service in the future. Uh, last fm currently we only have availability to do your local media on your saved on your hard drive um, playback you can choose equalizers and crossfades and things like that so that's pretty cool a little bit more advanced than the media player app in windows 11 that just came out and then you got some personalized settings that do work um, on startup you can do at a glance queue uh, all videos i'll just say i'm gonna pick albums uh, pick up where you left off um, Basically, when you close it out and open it back up, it'll come back to exactly where you are. You can customize the sidebar. 
um, to pick different things. So there's at a glance, you can turn off general, which you notice that in this corner, this disappeared. So if you open and close, you see that disappeared. If I hit the drop down, I can pick exactly what I want to appear and disappear. Same for music, I can pick exactly what I want to show up. If I don't want genres there, I can get rid of genres. Same for video, you can pick exactly what you want it to show, so that's pretty dope. Um, and then you can also search across the whole application too, just to see like what exactly you're looking for. Uh, final things, you got more settings here. This changes the setting style. You can change it to high contrast icons and different kind of icons, menu bar. Um, and then you got an insider hub because this is a pre-release. There's a lot of insider builds that are coming out like pretty much on the weekly or in the daily that we just won't see unless you're an insider for it. But yeah, overall, I got to say lots of potential in Rise Media Player. I won't say it's the best media player so far in 2022. Uh, as you know, on Twitter, I posted that I'm looking for the best media player replacement for, you know, the ordinary media player that's in Windows right now. And um, I feel like if... If development really goes, gets underway and really fixes these bugs, right now we have surface level things working. We got music playing that when you stay on one album, it plays, but we don't have like mixing the albums to different albums and making those play. Um, there's sizing issues. There's a bunch of grayed out stuff. I'd like to see more development go on with this just to see where it goes. Right now it's very smooth, very clean, very simple. And once all those things come out, it could be the... I could see it being like the Windows 11 ideal fluent uh, media player, that next generation media player, kind of letting Windows media player literally rise from the ashes, if you get it. So I could see that happening, and I just want to see more development on it. Uh, I know it said a lot of negative stuff in there, but I got to be blunt and just say what I see. It's all about what it is for me, just saying what I see in the application that maybe someone else didn't see, maybe they already know about all this stuff, but now they really will know all about all this stuff. So stay tuned for more apps like this. You know I always have new things to pull out of the of the hat. Um, my name is Kwaku, and before I go, uh, like I said, there is a Discord that you can join. It is um, The link is in the description box. You can click that one link, sign up for Discord if you don't have it already, and join the next Windows Discord that was made by Firecube and Yer A and some other people. So join us on there. We're about a group of about 15 to 20 people so far, but constantly growing. So stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.